who's your main going to be in Sparking Zero? Is a question you've probably asked yourself. Someone's asked you. I know a lot of people have asked me. So today, we're here to answer that with put them on the team. My backups, my maybe sometimes, probably not. And my, my just nah, I'm good. And the benefit I have is I was in a fortunate position to play this game a few times. And so I've used several of these characters today, starting with Teen Goku. A lot of people think I'm a Dragon Ball hater, but listen, we're here to break expectations today. So Teen Goku, especially because his punch is just so sick. I'm going to put him on backups because I actually think this character is going to be a ton of fun. Base Goku early. I'm going to actually put on backup because these earlier Gokus are actually really, really cool. Base Goku mid also on backup. I actually think this guy's going to be a ton of fun to use, especially with his spirit bomb gimmick because you can do this sort of charge up with it and then you land a charged up spirit bomb. It does take skill points to do it, but when you do it, imagine it's going to be a blast. SSJ Goku mid. One that I was so sad and a lot of people were on me for not showing off in my first video that I did not get to use. You full Super Saiyan Goku is just way too iconic. So yes, he will absolutely be on the team a ton. What's on Goku's face there? Is it that you should like the video? <laughs> That's crazy. Base Goku end. Another one that is obviously very fun, but just so that I'm not like glazing too much here. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to split this. I'm going to start grabbing some from the bottom. Like I'm not just going to do all the Gokus back to back. We're going to put base Goku from the end of Z and maybe sometimes. Okay. We're going to, we're going to chill out. Let's grab Kid Trunks. I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, no, I don't know. He, I do kind of like his attitude, like some of the stuff he said, but we're going to throw him in the probably not base Goten also in the probably not Super Saiyan Kid Trunks though. You know what? I'll give it to the maybe sometimes. Do you know, you know, a Trunks character though, that is fire and that is going to be on the team. Super Trunks. Okay. Because <laughs> dude, I loved Super Trunks growing up. He's basically just like Broly in some sequences. He literally looks like Broly. So yes, future Gohan and base and Super Saiyan. We're just going to put them both at the same time. Yes. Accurately depicted in this game, actually missing an arm. I think this character is just going to be an absolute blast to play. So both the base and both Super Saiyan put them on the team. And speaking of Gohan and speaking of absolutely insane fits, I am so excited to use Gohan in his actual just black fit, like without the green overlay. My friend Nort did this incredible edit on that Gohan specifically and made him look like a Beast Gohan. It was just, it's just an edit, but I do hope that that is a customization feature we can do when Beast Gohan is inevitably in this game because Superhero is already announced to be part of the DLC for this game. Now with that in mind, again, I just want to like change things up. Deborah, unironically putting him on backups. I think that that character is going to be so much fun. I really, really, really like sword users in games. Okay. So that guy, he might move up. He might make a change before things are said and done. Nell may or may not have, um, have used Nell. I, I, I was not vibing. I like his kid. I, I think I'm okay. Super Zarbon and Zarbon are both going to be, actually, I'll put Super Zarbon on the maybe sometimes, but Zarbon specifically, I think looks just cool. Like actually looks cool doing stuff. And currently in a rewatch of Dragon Ball, and this is like, it, we're in the thick of like the Zarbon stuff. And he's actually, he's pretty cool. All right. He's pretty cool. I was, you know, I'm just going to say it. Freeze a soldier. Okay. I'm not one of those. that's like been harping on the whole no Super 17 in the game. I am sad he's not in the game. Specifically, Freeze the soldier got a slot and not Super 17 is like, I don't really know why we did that. I'm not realizing how, how just overwhelming the amount of characters there are here. There are so many characters. All right. So uh, I do, I do be liking Bardock, but just so that I don't have too many on put him on the team, he's going to be in backup. So I do really, really, really like Bardock. Uh, Piccolo is also very, very cool. I do believe that Fusakami has the move set that I personally like the most with Piccolo. So I'm going to put him actually on the team. I really, really like Piccolo. This is such an obvious one. Z Gogeta. Put him on the team, dude. Look at him, all right? It's freaking super, it's the original Super Gogeta. We have to have him on the team. And while we're there, we might as well just go ahead and throw his brethren up there. Now, I actually, I, this is gonna be crazy to me, guys. I'm gonna put base down below. Base is gonna chill out and hang out on, on my backup. And we're gonna put specifically Super Vegito on the team. Videl is probably like a maybe sometimes for me. I just don't know that, you know, like Videl is just okay. Also, since we're here, we'll put her dad right there too. This might be blasphemous to some of you guys. And I think that he'll make for tons of funny content. But like, if I'm seriously trying to be honest with myself, I was just never, other than doing his dynamite kick. I love doing that. But like, that was about it. You know, like I loved memeing. He's a fun meme character. But if I need to win and clutch up, like he's just not, he's not going on the team. I'm sorry. All right, this is going to seem a little backwards. We're going to put base team Gohan on backups pretty high up there. We're then going to put the Super Saiyan one on maybe sometimes. 
Okay. And then the obvious choice, because I'm biased as all get out. Super Saiyan 2 Dean Gohan is just like, these are not ordered. Just want to make that very clear. I'm not actually taking the time to like order them. Maybe I'll do that here in a second, but right now we're just kind of putting them in their spots. I'm not the biggest Dr. Jiro. I actually do think he unironically looks really cool in this game, but I'm just not the biggest like Dr. Jiro fan. So we'll, we'll put him in probably not. Although, and this is crazy because I think most people would probably think it was the other way around. I actually don't hate Android 19. So like maybe sometimes, but I guess while we're here with the Androids, let's go ahead. Let's put, actually, I think I've grown to really, really like the DBS Android set. 17. So let's go ahead, let's find him. He's going to be on the team. The Z17 is going to be right there. And then 18 is also very, very cool. So we're going to put, uh, actually we'll put her on backups as well. I, I really do like 18, but I can't, I'm, just not, I'm not trying to have too many people up there. I will say Na is probably going to have just very few characters. I, I'll just be real. Na is probably going to have very few characters, but go, you know what? To add someone to Na, we'll put Dodoria there. I, I get another one. Love Zarmon. I just don't really like Dodoria. <laughs> Dodoria is just not, you know, ugh. Uh, oh man, this is the easiest. Put him on the team. Matter of fact, hang on. I will go ahead and do one in order. <laughs> uh, no, we won't make him be above. He won't be <laughs> above Vid Goku. But uh, Meta Cooler is definitely one of the ones I'm very excited to use. I am very sad though, because I think that he works the same way the androids do and the way he's worked in the past, where you can't charge key. And I don't know if right now with what we've seen, if they charge key fast enough. Like, I think it needs to be tweaked a little bit. I think they need to charge key just a little bit faster because it has definitely put you at a disadvantage. But again, the game isn't totally out yet, so I don't want to get too deep into that. But that is one negative to using him. But I just don't care. He looks so cool in this game. And I guess because this is just so easy and I really am that big of a cooler laser. Base. I don't really want to, but we'll put it. We'll put base at the top of backups. How about that? Normal coolers at the top of backups while final form is in like genuinely put him on the team. Okay. I don't Huh, this Janimba is not bad. I'll put this Janimba in sometimes, but this Super Janimba, Super Janimba is like up here. <laughs> Listen, I love the movie characters. I'm so glad they're here. I would have been so sad if they wouldn't have been part of the of the final roster of the game. Android 16, we're gonna be able to dunk on people. Yeah, let's just, you know what? Let's do it. We're putting them in order. <laughs> we're gonna put them in order. He's gonna be a ton of fun to use. I'll put Cyberman in the maybe sometimes. I feel like this is one of those characters that is just so iconic with Dragon Ball. He's sort of that just character that is in every game basically in some form so we'll put him on maybe sometimes i think there will be some like really funny moments with him for sure seeing of funny moments this is not even a joke I, let's put him like up here i almost want to put him on put him on the team because like the body swap gimmick is just going to be so you know what <laughs> body swapping with Gideon is going to be like peak heat gaming in this all right like when you hit that oh my god dude it's going to feel so good Kui is whatever. I don't know. I won't put him down. I like Kui more than I like Dodoria, so I won't do that. But yeah. Dude, Willow, I actually think looks awesome. <laughs> I'm putting Willow in the back up, baby. I think Willow looks really cool. And I am I am a currently a world's strongest glazer. Like, I really, really like that movie. So, you know what? We're putting Willow up there in the backups. Rudigon looks okay. I'll put a Rudigon in the maybe sometimes. I'm not the biggest on the giant characters. I actually don't necessarily love the giant characters. I think they'll have their moments. But I just don't know that I'm going to, like, just be, ooh, giants. Evil Boo actually looks pretty damn cool. Okay, I can't believe I'm putting Evil Boo that high up, but Evil Boo actually is pretty damn cool. Cell Juniors again for the memes. We'll, we'll put Cell Juniors like in maybe sometimes. As far as Cell himself, I wish I could just grab multiple of these because yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, I'm sorry. Cell is just like one of the coolest characters <laughs> like in this game in Dragon Ball period, and they hooked on him in Sparking Zero. Every aspect of Cell I think is just so damn cool in this. So that is such an easy put them all on the team because I, if you could do this, if I could actually just run multiple of them i would maybe there'll be modes where you can i don't i don't actually know totally but with these specifically yes definitely will have them on the team frost dude frost is just not someone i really cared about that much i'll be real i think like it'd be cool to do like a u6 team but other than that like pr like probably not like will he show up too much on my teams Probably not. Same thing with Kaba, which is why like, this has been so funny, like all the memes and stuff. Cause I just, I think there are some people that actually like Kaba, but I just, Kaba's just okay. Now Super Saiyan Kaba, I think has one of the cooler like supers in the game. So I'll put him up in, uh, and maybe sometimes it's where he has like the fire in his eyes. I believe that's Super Saiyan. And then Super Saiyan two was just okay. So we'll put him at the bottom. We'll leave these two. Actually, I think that Super Saiyan Kaba will put like up like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, not totally 
canon with the current rankings inside the boxes, but some of it is, I guess, to, to some extent. I would feel crazy not putting a fusion, at least in maybe sometimes, because it's a fusion. So, like, I'm going to definitely maybe sometimes use uh, the Keflas. So, what if we just go totally in order? Because I really do love Super Saiyan 2 Kefla's move as she uses it against UI Goku. It's one of my favorites. I think it's one of the prettiest moves. I mean, it is, but one of the coolest moves that they've used in Dragon Ball and definitely one of the newer coolest moves in Dragon Ball. So we're going to put SSJ2 Kefla on the team just literally because of how cool her move is. Another one on the team, Buhan. Buhan and the fact that he has his pose and you're going to be able to taunt on people. Oh my gosh, dude. The moments that that, the moments that's going to build with Buhan, like, Ah, oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good, you guys. All right, I guess let's let's balance it out a little bit. I'm not that big on base Kel, so that can go towards the bottom. That same extent, I'm not that big on base Khalifa either. She's okay, I guess. Yeah, I don't really see me using them too often. They're Super Saiyan counterparts, sure. Maybe maybe sometimes for sure. I actually do like the Berserk version of Kel, so we'll put that up there. And then the Super Saiyan Kel is, is fine. We'll put her literally right by Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa. I think those are those are fine placements. This is another one where I'm just like, he's okay. So we'll put Topo and maybe sometimes. I don't know. It's just a character that I just didn't connect with that much. I don't know. Topo was just like, okay. When he went to God Topo, on the other hand, though, he's pretty cool. I'll, I'll give him that. Having the Hikai ability, his overall aesthetic, I actually do really like God Topo quite a lot. So base Topo, maybe sometimes God Topo is going to be like in my, my backup section here. There are still so many characters. This is, I cannot believe how many characters we genuinely have access to. Bergamo, dude. More like Bergodmo, dude. I, <laughs> I actually think I'll end up using this guy a lot. Like I truly, I like the trio to danger. I have like uh, complete opposite of Topo. Something about the, the trio to danger and the, the wolves, the dogs, whatever. Like they, they really, I I don't know something about their whole aesthetic like i i thought they were really cool so we're throwing them up there and alaza is okay probably not i think the portal ability is cool with the punches but like will i use him that much probably not bobbity ironically seems like actually funny <laughs> so we're gonna put bobbity on backups i i think that i think beating someone's ass with bobbity just sounds way too funny to not at least have him in the backup section dude <laughs> speaking of that we'll put um we'll put boo in maybe sometimes i know that might seem disrespectful disrespectful to some of you guys i'm just not that boo can be funny and fun on the occasion but like he's just okay but on the the complete flip like total opposite of that kid boo's awesome dude. <laughs> like kid boo will be a heavy rotation and he's just a menace you know like there's just something so much fun about using him uh bootinks is okay you know what to not glaze too much on on the boo with the boos i'll we'll put bootinks down here but then super boo will be up this is my balance okay so we have boo on and kid boo and put him on the team backups we have super boo and then maybe sometimes we have majin boo and bootinks yeah my primary two boos surprise surprise are boo and kid boo does that surprise no it doesn't surprise anyone uh lord slug i'm actually not the I, you know lord slug's okay I, i'll put both of them right here like i guess i i would probably put slug like at least towards the top of this again giant i'm just not i'm not big on giants it just is what it is why well, use them yes but like i you know it is it's whatever <gasps> where's my trucker hat where's my trucker hat yeah man put him up there Where, where's his fusion version too man hey i love me some android 13 man where's my trucker hat uh smobovich is kind of whatever actually not even kind of whatever i'm not that i don't really care <laughs> i don't i don't really care like nah you know like he's fine if I, if I need to put someone on the bottom we'll put him on the bottom <gasps> turles turles is so damn cool i cannot i listen may, we may or may not rewatch that movie on key moments get my podcast with dotto that's all i'm saying i and i think it looks really cool in this game so of course he's gotta he's gotta be on the team put him on the team okay let's try to find someone that we can put down in nah this is tough oh i found one I'm sorry, Chiaotsu. I'll let you be at the top of my nod, though. How about that, Chiaotsu? You can hang out there. Krill and Yamcha Tien, I think, are on the maybe sometimes. We'll put them at the top of maybe sometimes, though. I think Krill and Yamcha and Tien will be one of some of the characters that actually surprised me. I ended up. You know what? No, I'll give Krillin the benefit of the doubt. We'll leave Yamcha and Tien in the maybe sometimes because I will maybe sometimes use them, but Krillin will probably get more consistently on teams than I'll end up expecting. 
is what is where where i'm at with that i think roshi will also probably be like a maybe sometime situation for me so we'll go ahead and we'll grab both of the roshis here put them both on there i think that they'll be fun to use and i think it's gonna be really cool to cut again one thing too is the customization options on this game are gonna go so crazy some of these characters i might just literally use because of the cool customization they have available to them and like what we're able, how we're able to make them look so making roshi look og or making him look super like stuff like that or even uh jackie chun who i think i believe is one of the options as well that'll be really cool but yeah somebody's gonna go maybe sometime so roshi can be one, one of those yeah other than ginyu himself raccoon is definitely a backup for me raccoon has always been one of those characters i loved using in these games like i don't know <laughs> He's just, he's just fun, you know? But I think the other three are like a, a maybe sometime situation for me. So we'll throw them in here. I really do like Burner and Jace. Guldo is probably my least favorite. I hate how many people are in backup, but I can't not put them up there. They're just so cool, dude. Dang. Uh, I'm getting, I, I hate looking at what's left because I like most of the characters that are left. <laughs> I might have to get pretty granular here on where we put everything uh, because I'm just like looking and everyone here is like going to be very high up. All right, so let's do Dispo and maybe sometimes. I if, I may have seen gameplay of Dispo where he was actually falling. Can Dispo not fly? Is he just that fast? Let's just go ahead and just get this out of the way. I'll put base Broly to not glaze too much. Base Broly will be backups, but he's going to be like top of backups, like up here. So I think you guys know what that means is that he's going to, he's going way up there bro i actually love that this like super saiyan broly with the sort of like bluish green hair is one of my favorite characters that you can ever use in these games period lssj is cool don't get me wrong i like lssj inevitably putting him in the put him on the team but we're gonna put him like towards the bottom but the actual super saiyan nah bro he's gotta be he's gotta be like top five for me i i love that <laughs> i love that character dude bro look at the characters that are left unironically gonna be tough all right let me grab some just guaranteed like there's just literally no question like super saiyan 4 goku this is a, a fairly obvious one gt's in the game these guys are just these are these are so obvious dude like i think that that is the coolest form in all of dragon ball so yeah put them put them on the team let's just yeah let's get these obvious ones up and and, and out of the way like we just know that those are gonna go on the team <laughs> like it'll be rare when i'm using a team on ranked or online against friends period where there won't be at least a gt character of some sort on the team okay so base bojack hmm i actually think bojack looks pretty goaded in this game we'll put him on the bottom of maybe sometimes and then we'll put full power like up here because i actually think bojack will be a blast to use but again look how bloated my others are getting but people gotta be down here bro some people gotta be down here i just gotta be honest probably gonna actually be a pretty fun one to use so i'll put him in maybe sometimes kid gohan he'll be okay i'll put him up i want to here by his dad you know end of z goku his father great sand man another one that's probably like a an easy maybe sometimes for me i do think it's cool that you can transform into him when you're using just like normal gohan one of his transformations is going into great sand man so that's pretty cool tapion is a sword user so listen i said it earlier and so i'll say it again i like sword users so we're putting them up here by deborah oh i i have i've been overlooking these rosie kakunsa and rebrian i actually don't necessarily hate these um so we're not gonna put them in the probably not but the, we'll put all three of them in the maybe sometimes at the very very bottom the very bottom of maybe sometimes <gasps> i've seen it a very easy on the team because this this character looks cracked from everything that i've seen and everything like that this character looks so sick you guys know i've always been a, a fairly solid jiren glazer so we're, we got to put him on the team with that in put that in mind though base jiren base jiren can be like down here i think full power looks way cooler than than base jiren but uh, jiren still he's he's his backup he'll be there you know what i mean like he'll be there quite often now, if you know me, I've been saving a particular character for the end. I guess we can knock out a lot of these forms now because unfortunately, I do really like using Vegeta's in these games. So, um, oh, man, this is good. How do I just not add all of these to the list? All right, so first off, Majin Vegeta. Yeah, no, nope, you got to go up here. <laughs> You know what? I can't be who I am and have a Goku man at the very, very top in the front. So Majin Vegeta's got to be up at number one. Also, another one that I'm very excited for is, is Super Vegeta. Also, another one that I'm very excited for is Early Vegeta. 
So this guy's ultimate is his big bang attack. This guy's ultimate is the final flash and this guy's his final explosion. So like these three are so iconic that I have to have them up and, and in there for sure. Uh, Scatter Vegeta will put him on the bottom of put him on the team because I think he'll be sick. Uh, this is where I can actually be a little more like, eh, we'll go maybe, maybe sometimes with grade eight Vegeta. Like if that doesn't tell you how little I like giants, I don't know what to say. If I'm putting a Vegeta character, maybe sometimes. No, you know, I'm not the biggest fan. Super Saiyan Ghost. Now that we're this deep, I'm okay with putting him in maybe sometimes as well. Uh, I was thinking about, I was considering putting him in backups, but looking at how tough this is going to be, picking the rest of these characters, like, yeah. Nappa is another maybe sometimes. Uh, I don't necessarily hate Nappa, but he's just going to kind of be here and there. I like Beerus. You know, Beerus is cool, but he doesn't have to be that far. Like, backups, you know? Like, I'll use him. He's going to be strong in this game, but he's not someone that I necessarily have to, like, put him on the team, you know? Like, if I'm, like, trying to fill out, like, a fifth slot, I'm like, Beerus? Beerus. Ooh, but, but, speaking of a character I really like from Dragon Ball Super, that is it. <laughs> that is it. He just looks so cool, man. I'm sorry, it looks so good in this game. Another character that unironically looks so good in this game is King Cold. King Cold, uh, let's put him by his son. <laughs> King Cold, again, are we shocked? I believe he is a sword user as well. So, surprise, surprise. I'm pretty stoked to use King Cold. I think, you know, I see a lot of people, they're saying Whis is broken. I don't know that, again, this is a game not everything's going to be balanced I, I don't think so that's that's kind of the point is where we used to be strong because he's probably the strongest being in dragon ball right now amongst the main cast but i don't think he's going to be that bad to deal with so we'll play him with beerus i think he'll be fun to use here and there but i don't think i'll be using him like super consistently i mean i like we just fine but like i don't i just don't think he'll be on the team like that consistently daima goku i'm actually pretty stoked to check out i don't know that i want to put him like up here put him on the team kind of thing but we'll put him at the very very top of my backups because i think mini daima goku Goku is going to be really, really cool to use. This is one that I can unironically put like just in the maybe. We'll put him at the top of it, but I'm not the biggest fan of Corrupted. Like when I use Zamasu, I will probably rarely take him into Corrupted. My favorite form of, of Zamasu is his just his fuse state where he just looks like sick, dude. Like that is is my Zamasu, you know? I, I'm, I'm okay on the whole Corrupted. Um, normal Zamasu is also just okay. So we'll put him down here with the maybe sometimes section. I really like fused way more. Base and Rosé... Listen, man, do you know me? Come on, bro. Let's just be real with ourselves right now. Base, Goku Black, and Rose are on the team. Dang, dude, I'm glazing so many. Look how thick the put them on the team is right now. Dang. Ooh, such few characters left. Okay, Base Broly actually just looks so cool. Oh, there's too many cool characters, bro. There's just too many cool characters. Super Saiyan Broly, I'll, I'll put... Oh, hoo -hoo. Okay, I won't do it. I won't put him up top. Just so it's not all that. But I can't not pull full power Broly like really high up, man. Like he's got to he's gonna be up here because <laughs> uh let's just be honest guys dbs broly looks very cool he's one of the poster characters of this game so they know like they know that's a lot of people are buying this game to play that character and they made him sick Ooh, super garlic jr unironically a, a, a backup for me <laughs> i'll say maybe sometimes i actually think this character's gonna be a ton of fun to use so yeah sin shinron we'll we'll put him in the maybe sometimes i really like sin but it's again it's to balance out the fact that i do really really like omega omega he's on the team uh right next to him is uzaru golden uzaru grade eight we'll put him at the bottom uh I, I actually think you know what no we'll put him a little higher up if there is a if there is a giant that i would use more than anyone it's grade a baby for sure uh which then comes to no surprise that i'm gonna bring super baby two up on the team and super baby one is gonna go in the bottom of backups uh as well as baby vegeta all <laughs> I mean, they're just they're technically just more bait. They're more, uh, they're more Vegetas, but like, I don't care. They're so cool, bro. There's one I was looking for specifically that I actually think I'm going to really, really like using. Yeah, base super Goku is looks so cool. He has one of the cooler super attacks where he rotates around the character while he's using it. That can I just, I will probably use that base Goku a lot. <laughs> like that yeah that guy is gonna get a lot of use oob looks neat we'll put him on the maybe sometimes uh we'll put him like towards the top here we'll put we'll put him with his other human sort of counterparts here majub also looks very cool we'll put majub in the in the backup section well, it's not like majub that super tag where he does the spin thing I, I don't know i think that's cool bro i can't think of what it's called right on top of my head but pan will put at the bottom maybe sometimes i like pan's okay 
you know for me like pan is just okay uh will she get some use probably here and there but like she's not gonna be on the team too much another fairly obvious one with as much as i talk about loving super saiyan god is super saiyan god goku so we might as well grab his other counterpart super saiyan god vegeta these two i will probably start out as them a lot and if i don't then i'll probably bring their base counterparts which then i guess with that said we might as well grab base super vegeta and put him up here too okay well that's just bugging me yeah because if i'm I'm not starting them in base then i'll probably will be starting them in their god forms because they're just so cool man like it just is what it is base gotenks is okay we'll put base gotenks in maybe sometimes and we'll put the super saiyan 3 version of gotenks in maybe sometimes as well and then we'll put super saiyan gotenks on backup i actually think super saiyan gotenks might be my favorite of of the three gotenks forms in this game at least from what i got to play with my my hands on with gotenks so that's where we'll place him the rest of these are actually unironically so high bro Look at, all, look at all these characters. Even that character that you're probably thinking right now. Yes, Yajirobe actually looks crazy. Okay, so Yajirobe. I, you know what? I have to pull out the Yajirobe every now and again. We're putting him in backups just to like, just to, just to show people, you know? Just to kind of show people. Like, that's what's up. Super Saiyan 3. Okay, you know what? Actually, just to not glaze GT too much. I'll put SSJ3 in the maybe sometimes. Is that, do we have the most rows in maybe some? I, I love it. That's fit. There we go. We got to be a little harsh, okay? We got to be a little harsh. We're going to put them down there. Second form Frieza is probably my favorite form of Frieza. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. But, yeah, we have started a fifth row and put them on the team. I do really, really like... What if I just make the other freezes that I would want to be up there and join him? So we'll, we'll we'll do that. I yep. Unfortunately, I am a I am a Mecha Frieza Glazer. Those are my favorite favorite absolute things you could do in Budokai's and the Budokai games is when you had, we revived in a Mecha Frieza. I, you know, I does does he work the same way though as Cooler in the Androids? Does he have the regen? Oh, I don't know. If you can't charge though with him, that kind of sucks. But you know what? Maybe I'll just I'll make it work. You know, maybe I'll make it work. Base melee trunks. I'm gonna be bold. We're gonna put him in the put him on the team because I really actually like that trunks. As much as I love this, we'll we'll put him in backup. Okay, we'll put him right here, right there, like this. I put base above it because I think the base one is gonna be really cool to use, and we'll put Super Saiyan down below in the backup section. I'm gonna go on. It's just such an obvious one. I'll put him on the team. All right, Super Saiyan Goku end. This guy has some pretty cool freaking moves, but I'll put him in backup just so, yeah, just so we don't blow, put him on the team too much. There's a lot of put him on the team right now. Same thing with Blue Goku. Uh, we'll put him at the top of backups. I think I will use Blue Goku a lot, but I think that I will utilize the other versions of Goku first and more before I would use the the super blue goku now something that was a bit of a complaint in terms of transformation was ui because ui does you can't go so dbs goku this goku right here this base goku super cannot go all the way up into ui so ui is a separate form but the benefit of that is that you can technically use dbs goku and also use the uis so uh let's just be real here let's place this where it's probably really more so to be which is way up there uh and the same thing with him we'll put him like right here i actually like sign a little more than I like MUI, as people usually refer to it, just to have an easier way of signifying it. UI sign just has some of the cooler attacks. I'm sorry, he just does. He just does. Like off the wall, like all that, like all the stuff he can do is just so cool. First form, I like first form. I'm not the biggest first form glazer. I know a lot of people like first form. So actually we'll put him in the maybe sometimes. We'll put him, we'll put him towards the top here, between Zamasu and Yamcha. I really don't like third form Frieza that much. So that's a fairly easy one just to put in like the maybe sometimes. I like his like attack like this, but I just don't really like the design. And I, I just, I don't know. Third form Frieza was my least favorite aspect of, of Frieza in the, in the Namek Saga for sure. Four form Frieza we can put on backups. Um, I do think that makes sense. Yeah, we'll put him by his father. Golden Frieza and Frieza... Oh, damn. I like these a lot. I like these a lot. Yeah, they. I can't not put them up here. I'm sorry. That sucks, man. It's so bloated. Look at how many characters are here. This is nuts. But Golden Frieza has one of the coolest supers in the game easily. Super Frieza is also really cool. Like, these two characters are so cool. I can't not have them here. Super Saiyan GT Goku, we'll put him in the maybe sometimes. Base GT Goku can be at the bottom of backup, just because. The base future trunks actually look so sick. I can't lie to you guys. Put him on the team is, is getting real, real full, you know? Too full. <laughs> 
Ooh, this is tough, dude. Oh, I just realized I don't have the I don't have the base Z trunks on the team yet. And you're gonna put that insane fit on him? Yeah, put him up there, bro. Put him on the team, man. All right, I will be a little more critical here of this of these Gohans. They're gonna be my backups. They will probably get used a substantial amount, but they will be on backups. Super Saiyan Goku is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, another one that's probably more of a backup type character than one that I'll actually start out with or go to that often. Same thing with the Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, just to not have too many on put him on the team i think i will use him a decent amount but probably not as often as i'll use these other forms of vegeta up here on the actual put him on the team base in vegeta is actually really sick he can go right here how about this right there by his son how about that we're finally down to just one row left super saiyan 2 goku i actually think will be very cool so we'll put him on on the top of backups here by by old daima goku super saiyan 3 is one that if i left here without putting him on on the team i would just feel bad so he's on the team he he's got dragon fist man he's just gonna be he's gonna be so cool that i can't not have him here uh base vegeta early we'll put as a as a backup as a high backup at that too because i think he'll be a ton of fun super saiyan vegeta at the at the end of z also a very fun one that we'll have on backup here super saiyan 2 vegeta we'll put him at the bottom we'll put him at the bottom not to put too many not to put too many there uh super saiyan sword trunk so this is the z variant of this correct who is awesome and has like burning attack. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't. Oh, hoo, hoo, sword user. <laughs> Blue Vegeta has SSBE, doesn't he? That unit's probably gonna get a lot of use from me. I will put him there. And that leaves us with the two final characters. Really, miss four. But let's just be real with ourselves here, okay? Let's just let's just be totally real with ourselves. We'll do it like this. So Blue Vegeta, Blue Vegito on the team. Let's just let's just be honest. You know, base base Gogeta has a really cool move set. He has a really cool move set. But the thing is, is he's up against Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan Blue, both of which have two of my favorite moves in the entire series. So yeah, yeah. No, unfortunately, they're just listen. It's Gogeta. <laughs> It's Gogeta. All right, let me adjust the list here a little bit. So with some final minor adjustments, here we go. Which, by the way, I didn't, I didn't notice how goofy up Bergamo's picture was until just, like, right now. But holy. Anyway, here's my put them on the team, mostly in order. Backups, mostly in order. Maybe sometimes, mostly in order. And probably not in nah, mostly in order. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe for more Sparking Zero content. And you can click on another video right here. And I'll see you over there in that one. Bye!